please note that this article does not apply to the V8 equipped M5. To do this work, you will need to safely lift and support your vehicle. You do not need to remove the valve covers and alternator, but it will give you more room if you do. Please follow the links provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with those tasks. Before you begin any work on the exhaust system, it's a really good idea to spray all of the hardware with a good penetrating oil. If you can do this several times over a few days before you begin this job and get a couple of heat cycles in them, it's even better. Begin by removing the four fasteners, green arrows, that hold the exhaust manifolds to the exhaust downpipes. Do this only for the exhaust manifolds that you are servicing. If you choose to give yourself more room to work, remove the engine coil covers, the coils, and the valve cover fasteners of the exhaust manifold you are trying to replace. Again, follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with all those tasks. We're going to remove the left side exhaust manifold. The right is similar. We're also going to be working with the engine mounts, green arrow. Begin by removing the fastener for the engine mount. Begin by placing a block of wood between the oil pan and your jack. We're going to begin by lifting up the left side of the engine about two inches. This image illustrates the motor mount stud with the left side of the engine jacked up about two inches. This will give you more access to the left side exhaust manifold. Use a 12 millimeter socket or wrench and loosen all of the fasteners, green arrow. This image shows all eight of the 12 millimeter fasteners that you will need to remove. This can be done with the cylinder head in the car. This is just for illustration purposes. The left side exhaust manifold are split into two groups. Four 12 millimeter fasteners hold the manifold for the front two cylinders and four for the rear two cylinders. Remove the fasteners for the front manifold first. To fully remove the left side front manifold, you will need to remove the ASC actuator. Remove the 10 millimeter fastener, green arrow, and move the actuator out of the way. Do not disconnect any of the electrical connections for the actuator, just move it out of the way. You do not have to remove the power steering reservoir, but it will give you more room to work. If you choose to move it, please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance. With all four fasteners removed from the front left side exhaust manifold, lower it off of the exhaust mounting studs by moving it in the direction of the blue arrow. Pull the manifold out of the engine compartment by the front. You will have to twist and maneuver the manifold to fully remove it. Removing it does make it easier to remove the rear cylinder's exhaust manifold. If you are removing the right side manifold, the layout of the manifolds are different. Here we are at the right side manifold with the right side motor mount removed and the right side of the engine is jacked up an inch or two. This will give you greater access to the mounting fasteners. This photo illustrates the layout of the right side manifold and the fasteners you have to remove. Here the first and third cylinders form one manifold and the second and fourth cylinders form the second manifold. Remove the four 12 millimeter fasteners that mount the second and four cylinder manifold, green arrows, and remove the manifold by lifting it out of the engine compartment. Then remove the four 12 millimeter fasteners, yellow arrows, that mount the first and third cylinder manifold and remove it. One of the mounting fasteners for the first and third cylinders manifold is hidden behind the second and fourth cylinder manifold. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.